Yo, yo. All right, we're back. Let's get into it. A quote that I really, really like by a person, by a friend that I really, really like is consistency over perfection. And the reason why is because it puts things in perspective. We're humans. We're not robots. You're going to mess up on your diet. You're going to mess up in creating a business. You're going to mess up when you're trying to progress forward. So understand that you're never gonna be perfect. You're gonna fail, you're gonna learn from that and you're going to get better. So if you're consistent, if you fall off and you get back on track, get back to being consistent, not perfect. You're gonna mess up along the way and it's okay. So what it also does is besides putting things in perspective, it gives you the opportunity to reflect and adjust so that the next time that the opportunity comes that you will mess up, you understand a way to eat better. You understand a way to be more productive. You understand to avoid making more mistakes. If you consistently, <laughs> consistency, if you consistently do the wrong things again and again, you either A, don't care, or B, you really don't care. So let's take consistency or perfection a step further. Something that I've been repeating to myself and trying to understand Consistency requires momentum. It requires you getting started, right? And a lot of people wait for motivation in order to get started. That whole, I need to believe in order to take action. What if you just took action one day, uh, to take action uh, two days in a row, three days in a row, four, th four days in a row. When you don't feel like it, you just start to develop a habit. You start to develop discipline. It's the behavior that's overriding the feeling and the motivation to do something. When you're disciplined and you created a habit and you're consistent with it, you don't need to be perfect because you know that more times than not, you're going to get the job done. And if you develop a strong discipline, it's the thought that creates the action, that creates the belief that is made up from the behavior, right? So if your goal is, now everything in, on this channel is gonna be reflected or is gonna be redirected back to eating better, back to being more healthy by being more active and making better choices with food. If your goal, now it's the summer, is to lose weight, is to lose fat because you're gonna be wearing less clothes, you're gonna be showing more skin, so you wanna look better, you wanna feel better. Maintaining a diet that is high in carbs, high in fat, low in protein is not gonna be good for your long-term goal of trying to lose fat and look better naked. If you develop the discipline, if, if you mess up, and first thing you should be doing is tracking everything that you're eating. Let's not get into specifics of tracking your macros, protein, carbs, and fats. Let's say you get on a scale every single morning and record your weight. Then for the rest of the day, you record exactly what you eat and what you drink, whether you worked out or you didn't. And you did that consistently for 30 days. You will, be, you will have a better understanding of the foods that you're eating and the weight, the foods that you're eating that's causing you to gain weight or to lose weight and then how to adjust from there. But if you never get started, you will never reach the finish line. You will never reach your potential. You will never become better than what you are now. That's if your goal is to become better. Your goal is to lose fat. And let's talk about on the flip end, if your goal is to put on muscle, you have to put on weight. You have to be in a calorie surplus. You have to eat more food than what your maintenance level is. So if you do the opposite, if your goal is the opposite, the discipline that you need is still the same. What do you weigh every morning? What are you eating every day? And how many days are you working out? Track that over time and adjust to make the progress, to make the scale go either up or go down. I'm not a fan of complaining without the intention, trying to fix a problem. Problems are gonna be with you for the rest of your life. And something that Mike was telling me about, what John Romel used to say was, you, in life, when you level up, you're trading one set of problems for a different set of problems. A person who does not have money is trying to fix that problem and the answer is to get more money, right? So you work more hours. Now when you work more hours, and I can talk about this because this is me, you work more hours, you become more productive, your bank account will increase. Now when your bank account will increase, this problem of oh, I didn't have enough money is now traded for, I'm working too many hours, I'm tired. How do you fix this? 
that's a goal. That's something I'm still trying to figure out. Now let's talk about somebody who is trying to change their body. You don't like how you look. So let's go back to what I was saying earlier. You track what you eat, watch the scale. Are you working out or are you not? So your problem of I don't like how I look can be solved by recording everything that you're doing day in and day out and then adjusting knowing that if you wanna lose fat, you wanna lose weight, you need to be at a calorie deficit. And if you wanna put on muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus. So now when, let's say it takes three, let's say it takes six months, hopefully you have the discipline to stick with a routine for six months longer. By the way, anyone who sells you a, a 10 day this, a three week this, or whatever BS stuff is, there's nothing short term that's gonna last long term. The only thing that you can do in the short term is fix a habit, develop a routine, stay disciplined and consistent, and then over time, results will come if you stay consistent over time. So anyway, your problem of I don't like how I look can be solved by the actions that I mentioned earlier, and now it's, let's say you get your, let's say you become insta famous after sharing your progress of either losing weight or gaining muscle. Let's say you get a lot of attention, right? And now your privacy is no longer available. Now people are hitting you up every single day about, can you train me? Can you help me? Can you help me with losing weight? Can you help me with putting on muscle? Can you help me with blah, blah, blah. Now your time, your, your, your problem of I don't like how I look is fixed, but now you have a new set of problems of, yo, I have a lot of people asking me for help. What do I do? How do I help these people? Because at a certain point, when you have a lot of, when you become really, really good at what you do, there's a lot of people who are going to be willing to pay for your service. Your new set of problems is how do I help everyone? How do I make enough money off of this? How do I leverage me against hundreds, thousands of people? I was not disciplined in writing and, and sticking to my goal of writing exactly and planning what I wanted to do for this video. Um, I have work to do. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep working, be somebody. Let's get it.